I am the devil, and I am here to do the devil's work. Hi, I'm Steve Crompton, the creator of Demi the Demonist and the publisher of Carnal Comics. I've been doing that for 20 years now, so I'm really tired. You know, it all started, um, I was submitting stuff to publishers. This was back in 1992, and one of the things I did, I noticed my samples were serious, and I wanted to do something really silly just to balance my samples out, and I did this one-page comic called Demi the Demonist. It was meant to be a throwaway joke, and I showed it to a publisher, and he immediately said, hey, could you do a whole book on this character? So I said, sure, absolutely I can. And I mean, if a publisher asks you to do something, you, here's your big break, you take it. So I did that and uh, I've been doing it for 20 years. And uh, the whole idea of her was to go the exact opposite. Everyone was doing grim and gritty stuff. And I, the idea was to do the exact opposite. So that, that was the creation behind her. Well, you know, at the time, part of it was I saw a lot of... Uh, it was the early 90s, and there were a lot of adult comics being done by Fantagraphics and Ripoff Press and some of the other publishers, and I felt like I, could, I really had something I could do that was better, that could really add story to it. So many of the comics at the time were just people having sex for 32 pages, and I thought, well, why not, you know, why not just make it like a regular comic, and instead of people fighting, people have sex. So, and that's, that was how it evolved. And uh, There's been over 40 issues of Demi, and there's been... Um, We've done a movie, there's been resident model kits, t-shirts, you know, all that kind of great stuff. So, she's out there. You know, that can vary a lot. Sometimes a story will take me, um, I'll, I'll, I'll get a flash of a story. You know, I, I saw the King Kong movie, it's a good example. And I immediately said, oh, this would be perfect to do this. Instead of the island, it's hell and a big demon. And Demi plays the character of Fay Ray, you know. And so there's an instant idea and then you just kind of transpose what you want to with it. Uh, sometimes though, you get these whole elaborate stories that are bounce off things that are happening to the main character and other character and it turns into almost like a like a, a mini novel really well you know I do a booth at San Diego every year and um, they're very restrictive they really are careful about what you can and can't show and I think because I'm in the Bay Area this time you guys are a lot more open to, to, to that and there's not really that concern so uh, I haven't had any problems everybody loves my stuff and if they don't like what's on my table they look away so you know I'm really happy with, the, with this whole the atmosphere of the, of the Bay Area. I was, uh, I've been at San Diego for years and a, a production company came to me, saw me at the convention. It's one of those cool things that you hear about happening that actually happened to me. And uh, they loved what I had. They'd seen Demi had been around a long time and they wanted to know, hey, how do we, uh, let's work out a movie deal. You know, we'd like to do a movie of this character. So, um, you know, I was, I'd seen what had happened to so many creators in the past with their movies had been, you know, the movie version was, terrible they were or just didn't hit the vision of the creator and so I worked out a deal with the, the movie company that I would be I wouldn't just give them the rights that I would be involved in the co-production of the movie writing the script actually even casting helping to pick the girls to pick just the right character girl to play Demi and uh, it worked out beautifully I mean it, it's just like the comic when you watch the movie I'm really happy with it you know I think it's a lot like a, like a comedian or an actor they um, the, the greatest joy that you get when you, you, you do a creative endeavor and other people see it is when you get the feedback and when they say, wow, I really love that and I really got the thing and I picked up this little subtle hint you dropped here and what's going to happen next and I, I love your work. And it's, it's the feedback from fans, having people who over the years come back time and time again to get whatever new book I do. And um, it's just really, it's, it's really gratifying to get that feedback. And you just, it's like playing a slot machine. You want more. <laughs> and you just go back and you make more stuff. Well, uh, I've got Phoenix Comic Con in May. Um, I'll be there for a week. And then uh, after that, I've got uh, San Diego Comic Con in, uh, uh, what is that, end of July. I'll be doing that. I'm working on finishing up my second novel that I've been writing. And I've got another Demi comic in the works. So I just keep juggling them all and trying to get them all done. All right, well, hey, if you want to see more about Demi, 
or my other work, go to uh, demicomics.com, that's with an X, or cityofthegods.com. All my stuff's up there. You can see what I'm up to.